There will be two referees for these next two matches. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you wanted bad blood, you've got it. AJ Agazam taking on Jake Shields. Look at the way they're mirroring each other, posturing <laughs> from across the map. This is what I want to see. Well, we'll see in a few moments, won't we? <laughs> I, can't, I can't buy into the idea that AJ's got into the Jake Shields' head. Jake Shields has fought some of the best fighters in the world. He's got a win over Dan Henderson. Yeah, I mean, look, Jake Shields, an absolute MMA powerhouse. 31-8-1 and one is his MMA record. 12 submission wins, 10 of those by choke, and that's really what people have been saying this is going to square up as. A real exchange of, of guillotines and rear naked chokes between these two. It's been billed as the battle for American jiu-jitsu, and immediately we see Shields look for that snap down. I wonder if either man is going to pull guard or if there's too much pride on the line here. Both with strong wrestling backgrounds. Jake with two-time All-American wrestling. Oh, bit of a face slap there, and they just yeah. up the antes. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're being very aggressive with their collar ties. They're really cuffing each other. No touch of hands from Agazam again, really turning this into a scrap. Love him or hate him, you're going to want to tune in to see AJ fight. Yeah, as you, you were mentioning the wrestling, Nick, uh, former D1 wrestler at Ohio State is AJ Agazam. We saw that in his match against Dan Strauss, relentless with those takedown attempts and scrambles. It really does feed into his style of jiu-jitsu. Again, strong collar tie. More like a palm in the face oh. from where I'm sitting. Jake Shields, part of the infamous scrap pack with the Diaz brothers, so he knows how to handle himself when things get a bit rough. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've got to be honest, you, you have to kind of think if anyone was able to turn it into more of a fight, it, it could be Jake Shields, but AJ Agazam is absolutely bringing the aggression at the start of this one. Shoots on that single, immediately oh, sprawled, and Shields is on the neck here. He has got a phenomenal guillotine. AJ's defending very well. Oh, he's but under, under the throat, under is he the turning neck. it into a neck crank? AJ's restored wow. some grip and Shields bails out. He stayed so calm under pressure there. That was tight and put on so quickly from the sprawl. AJ is very, very tough to submit. I've seen him in some very tight submissions and he's always uh, managed to scramble out or often managed to scramble out or goes out. The former Strike Force welterweight champ really trying to power through this half guard here. He's got a strong upper body control as he looks to, to kick free and walk the hips around. Incredibly tight pressure passing. Generally stays on his knees so he can really drive forward, control the opponent and stop them posting and standing back up. Of course, feeds into that MMA mindset where control is everything on the ground. You know, once you get a guy there, you've got to keep them. And Jake Shields is an absolute master at it. Yeah, Jake Shields is doing a great job of like the upper body control and keeping the hip smash to the side, making it very, very tough for AJ. It'd be interesting to see what happens if AJ can, can get to perhaps full guard. I mean, you know, that's perhaps where uh, Jake Shields has come a little bit unstuck in, in jiu-jitsu, but right now he is putting a lot of pressure on the Florida boy. The mediatic figure, AJ, never far from controversy in the jiu-jitsu world. <laughs> We're going to have to bring up again the backstory of how he claims he's trained with Jake before at Henzo's and he's choked him out. Yeah, I mean, he's, he is adamant that... Uh, he is the better competitor here. He's been putting a lot of time into this camp, taking it immensely seriously. Spent time training with Kenny Flory and also Homola Bahal. Phenomenal uh, network of training partners in the Gracie Baja system for him. Really does spend his time traveling and training. It's a very with nice pass. the best pass. he can get his hands on. Sorry, very nice pass from, um, from Jake there. Really using that upper body pressure. And then straight over to the mountain, great binding the legs to avoid that bridge. And AJ looking to post on that face, really trying to deflect the head as much as possible. AJ giving up two kilograms in this fight, probably a bit more now since Jake would have been rehydrating after the weigh-ins. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, that much MMA experience, he's, he's going to be a master of managing his body weight, knowing where he wants to be to, to be as, uh, as heavy as possible. But uh, he looked very lean at the weigh-ins, I have to say, Jake Shields. Definitely the taller of the two fighters. 37 years old, quite the veteran. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's been around. I mean, uh, third place in ADCC in 2005. Uh, you know, that was uh, one of his most notable forays into 
the submission grappling world. I really did wonder how much Jake Shields would try and get top control and then grind on AJ Aga's arm, make it unpleasant, try and tire him out. But we, we've seen before, AJ's gas tank is, is pretty immense. Yeah, when he went up against Daniel Strauss in that epic fight in Polaris 2, he pushed right to the end and he was giving up a fair bit of weight in that one. Here it looks like uh, Jake's trying to set up the back a little bit. You know, he's, he's fishing for the seat ball position. Um, however, AJ's staying very, very tight and keeping those arms in, making it difficult on him. Yeah, AJ, one of only uh, two competitors who've competed at all three Polaris events. The other, of course, being the man you're going to see next in our main event, Gary Tonin. He takes on Husama Tokinio Polaris. But right now, Jake Shields trying to maintain this mount position. Is he going to find his way to the back? He's got a Kimura grip. Can he find the hook? He's hustling. Very Puts him to the nice. rear naked choke. And it looks like he's almost underneath the neck as well. He's going to grind on the face. Expect the face bars to come in, the neck cranks. And AJ staying incredibly calm. He's almost got a smile on his face as he lets himself go back to mount to defend the position. And here he has to be careful of that uh, arm triangle. AJ constantly on the defense since shooting in at the start of the fight. I mean, it was a good shot, you know, he changed level, he penetrated through really well, he, he got a grip on, but Shields slammed that hip down and immediately jumped on the neck and able to maintain the top position from that point. Jake looking for a similar setup to before. He also has the side choke option. Yeah, looking at gift wrap. Now he's going head and arm under, under both sides, actually, but really making his hips heavy here. Yeah, he's really putting the weight down, putting the pressure down on AJ, making it hard for him to breathe. Jake Shields competing very recently at the World Series of Fighting, but now taking some time to show us the level of grappling that made him such a controlling force to face inside the cage. Dominating mount at this point, really trying to work those arms up around the head of AJ Aga's arm. Aga's arm, though, has stayed very calm throughout. Yeah, it looks like he's setting up the Katagatami on this side again with the head and arm choke. I mean, the fantastic thing about that joke is it allows you to maintain your mount position right till the point when you really want to put that squeeze on. Absolutely. And even when it's not on, it's always, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's making it difficult to breathe. Well, AJ grabbing his ear, trying to separate the hips. Jake Shields position. inching it up. Halfway through now. Jake just needs to get a little bit lower. He's a little bit too much up on the tricep. Needs to, needs to get his shoulder down a little bit lower, head closer to the ground. Cinching it up a bit more now. He's dismounting. He's looking for the angle. It's very Bridge tight. And roll. And Agazam is not going to give this one up. Very the crowd nice absolutely step. loving it here in Bournemouth. Polaris 3. Do you know what? The timing on that escape, that bridge and roll from Agazam. He knew it was coming. He knew he was going to be in a scramble for everything there. And he timed his bridge so explosively, so perfectly. And we're back to... Some collar tie fighting here. Yeah, it looks like Jake expended a lot of energy in that, that, that trying to control him in that choke position. Oh! And they're getting properly at it now. Jake Shields, uh, what a minute, slapping the face of AJ Aga's arm. He was provoked, to be fair. That's why we have two referees for this match and the next match. Jake has fought one half of the main event in Palajares. We're just going to catch a, a replay. Would that be the Stockton slap? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to catch a replay here. Colletai misses and he goes straight for the, uh, the slap. I think both guys know what's in store here. They're not going to let it disrupt the match, but it certainly is upping the ante, laying down a marker for the last five minutes here. Hashtag Polaris3, give your thoughts on these tie-ups. Josh Palmer, Tom Barlow, Nick Osipchak calling all the action for you from the Lighthouse Centre in Poole. Our penultimate match here this evening, AJ Agazam taking on Jake Shields. So before that pugilism, I was just saying, Jake's fought Palajares in MMA. And that was full of controversy with Jake receiving multiple eye gouges. That's why we've got two refs here tonight. 
Well, he's got AJ Agazan for now. That low single is such a powerful shot for AJ. He's com completes it in so many matches. Now Shield nice drives sprawl. forward. Sprawl from AJ, and we're going to have to reset going off the, uh, the edge of the stage here. I think that was a bit of a tactical error shooting in so close to the edge of the mat there. Maybe that's a sign that Jake's not thinking so clearly now. Oh, and he gets pushed away by Agazan. And I, this goes the distance. Well, you know what? However this ends, I cannot wait to see what these guys suggest. Oh, AJ saying he wants that sprawl. He earned that sprawl. He wants that position back. And you can bet he is gonna he is gonna try and be cheeky about <laughs> about this upper body grip. Jake's corner calling for a restart on the feet. And I think exactly that's what. Nick's going to have to do to keep things fair. AJ shoots in, Jake goes Straight for the guillotine again, arm in guillotine. Gives it up. Looking to smash pass. Again, getting flat, getting low. That upper body pressure we saw at the start of the match in the initial pass. Found his way to mount the first time. Can Anger's arm defend again? Final third now. Still plenty of action ahead of us. And they're going to reset in the middle. Close guard for AJ Agazam. First time we will have seen this in this encounter. We don't often see AJ playing close guard. He's normally the aggressor. He's the one on top. He's looking to pass. Certainly his last two matches at Polaris against Oli Geddes and Dan Strauss. That's what we've seen, but it's a whole different ball game against Jake Shields here tonight. Close guard's a very tricky position, Nogi. You just don't have the same control with the grips. I'm sure they're talking to each other right now. Jake Shields giving the thigh of AJ a little oh, elbow there. The forehead into the face, the hand to disrupt the breathing. The head, oh, kind of driving the head forward. They're going to have the ref's going to have to be very careful here because, you know, it, it, it's one thing to be aggressive, to, to put the head in, to dig the elbows in. It's another when it starts bordering on. Uh, on actual strikes, and these guys are making everybody aware that there's palms to the face, there's elbows going in, soft tissue. And we're getting as, as much as a grinding slap as possible. And AJ taking a moment to converse with the corner of Jake Shields as he looks to hip up and post on that left arm. Yeah, this is definitely not the gentle art. <laughs> Old school jiu-jitsu, I think they called it Valet Tudo. Well, we've got three minutes left to work. Anyway, this ends now. Oh, and Jake Shields immediately hunting for that head and arm. He's got the grip. Nagazan maintaining the half guard. He's in very tight on this position. If he can just free up his leg and then pass over, he's going to be in a really strong position. I love how Jake Shields switches that wrist over. Every time Nagazan brings his arm back to grab his ear to defend, Shields passes his, uh, his wrist all the way over the other side of his head. I can't imagine what the squeeze pressure on this gable grip must feel like. Trying to use his right instep there to hook inside AJ's left thigh. Yeah. AJ using his left arm to prevent that from happening. Pretty much, I think, statistically the highest, uh, highest percentage guard pass in MMA for half guard. That instep prying down to free the knee. AJ doing a good job of blocking that leg. With, the, with the, the, the bottom hand. I mean, he's admittedly he's in a pretty uncomfortable position with his other arm, though. <laughs> and mount for Jake Shields with two minutes left. And you can bet he's not giving up this head and arm easily. AJ's going to look to bridge out of it like he did last time, I think. This time he might not leave it so last minute. Well, I mean, it was in the process of accepting the, the dismount to, to the real finishing position from Jake Shields. AJ was really forced to, to buck for everything he was worth there. And let's see if uh, the dismount from Jake Shields is a little bit cleaner. This time the chin going in the, the cheekbone and the eye. This is rough jiu-jitsu. There is nothing polite or pleasant or relaxing about this match for these guys. But, you know, it is route one jiu-jitsu. It's smash down the middle, take the mount, take the back, get the choke. It is as perfect example 
of fundamental jiu-jitsu and control as you want to see. The dismount now for Jake Shields. A minute left. Is he going to get the submission? Goes back to mount to try and tighten it a bit more. Doesn't look like he's managed to, to cinch his shoulder back under the tricep for enough from this position. I feel like he needs to drop his body weight back before driving forward on that, uh, that arm. Looking for the arm bar now. He takes oh. it. He looks tired oh, to me. AJ trying to spin out. He manages it. AJ Hitchhiker's out. Nah. And he's sitting back on the heel hook now. Both guys exchanging legs. Is one of them going to finish this? And we're back to close guard here. AJ deflecting the head, posting away. He's got to create. Oh, we've got to be careful here, guys. Doing everything he can to create some space. I think this one is going to run the clock out. Time is almost up. And we go the distance. Jake Shields and AJ Agazam. Guys, we are not sure of talking points on this one. That's twice. AJ shot in for the low single. Jake managed to. Here we go. There we go. We got a little scuffle on the go. AJ tried. Oh, we got a late Stockton slap. It was a bit uncalled for, if you ask me. The fight is over. AJ not reacting. Jake Shields being pulled off the mat here. Bit of a shame it had to carry on after that. They should have left it at the 15 minutes. I'm here with Jake Shields. Jake, I don't need to say anything. What do you want to say? First off, uh, first off, thanks a lot. I want to apologize for not, you know, shaking AJ's hand, but this guy was talking crap the whole time, gouging my eyes. Just had my gou eye gouged for the first time in my life last fight, and then you get this prick doing the same thing. He was bragging yesterday. He was bragging yesterday, I'm going to try to make it a draw. I'm going to try to make it a draw. I know I can't beat you, but if I can make it a draw, I'm going to consider that a win. So congratulations, AJ. You're a bitch. <laughs> Dude, how does it feel to be a pussy and get your draw? AJ, the head deflection, the head butts, collar ties turning into slaps. What do you want to say? Look, I, I'm, listen, 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 listen. I'm not here to put Jake Shields down. I'm just here to be consistent like I have been all along. He's, he's a tough dude, but he's not tougher than me. No matter what you say, no matter what he says, I come to bring the fight every time. You guys have seen that for Polaris 1, Polaris 2, and Polaris 3. And I'm going to keep bringing it for the fans. Jake Shields had mount for long periods of that fight. Put you under a bit of pressure with the head and arm, the, the arm bar, a couple of guillotines. What was going through your mind in, in those submissions? You didn't look like you were going to quit at any point. I'll never quit. No, everybody knows that. All of you guys know that too. Jake's very strong, especially for a vegan. I was surprised. <laughs> I'm happy to see him come out of retirement and take a grappling match on a, such a great stage like Polaris. These guys are revolutionizing the sport. They're vibrant. They're making it happen, and that's why I'm here. They're working for the community. They're working for the athletes. Polaris is working for the fans, and it's something really great to be a part of. And I wouldn't trade it for everything, anything in the world. Thank you for the kind words, AJ. You guys want to see a rematch? This submission didn't happen this time, but you guys know that's all I look for. I got a shout out to my friends, Team TCB, Kenny Florin, Kenneth Capella, Homo Bahal, Edward Najmi, Zane Spruce, all you guys, Gabriel Arges, my brother, all you guys are making it tough for me, especially you guys. I love you guys. You guys are the reason why I keep doing this. Eu preciso falar uma coisa para meu amigo sul do Brasil. O Diogo e Barra, parabéns, muito feliz para vocês. É nós, quer esse Barra, tamo junto. Valeu. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause. AJ Agazam and Jake Shields.